when facing a test in life, should a believer expect a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after the test is over? When the test is happening, I try to be patient and not complain, but is it normal to have hope for a reward after, or is it wrong to have this expectation? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It is according to your level of faith, because you mentioned a believer. When a test is coming to you, what is a test? A test is, you go to school, you study, they teach you, right? And then test comes. Test is showing to yourself, it's not showing to the teacher, it's showing to yourself how much you know, how much you can apply. That is what a test is. So you go to school, it doesn't mean you know. You go to school, you go to class, it doesn't mean that everything is sticking and you know how to apply. They give you a test, then you know, oh, I didn't study enough, I didn't pay attention enough, I didn't. So this is your level. This is your level. So when the test comes, don't think the test comes also suddenly like this, that we are completely unprepared. A test is a time for us to know which level of faith we are at. So many people, they look at tests and say, oh, it's a calamity, it's a disaster, it's very bad, it's bad luck, it's this, it's no, it is not. It is a time for you to know where is your level of faith now as believers, where is your level of faith? Something is taken away from you. You got hurt. You got this. And say whatever test. And usually people think a test is just something bad, something awful that happens. A test can be something good that happens too. People don't think wealth as a test. And for a believer, it's a huge test. People don't think children, having children or having this or that. Dunya is saying you have all these things. This will turn to paradise. But the believer looks at all these things that makes a person from the dunya to become in paradise, he looks at that as a test. And now I have to be careful, he's saying. Allah gives me wealth now. He's testing me with it. I'm not going to go crazy. There are things that I need to do. He gives you happiness. There is a test. Am I going to forget my Lord and other ones? He gives you money. That is a test. Is this something that is unusual for us? No, because zakat is a pillar of our faith. Whatever that you have, part of it you have to give. And belonging to the tariqat of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, oh, can we even claim that it is our right? Anything that Allah has given to us, it is our right? No, it is a blessing. So happiness can be, sadness can be. All these things, the test is there. Don't look at it as a reward or punishment. A believer must move away from that. There's nothing wrong with that so much, but that is low. Because Allah is not our business partner. Allah is not uh, a boss that, okay, I work for you, now give me my money. He is our Lord. This is why it is about faith now. And faith and love you cannot separate also. So when you do things because of love, you do things because of sincerity, you don't expect anything back. Because the sincerity itself, it is a, is a good feeling. It is a reward in itself. You feel good doing it because it is coming from your heart. And once you give from your heart, your heart will never be empty. It gets bigger. You give more from your heart, your heart gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Don't you know the heart is the throne of Allah? Nothing in creation can contain Allah, but the heart is His throne. I'm not saying Allah is contained in our hearts, but it is His throne. So now, person doesn't have too much faith, his first is going to say, oh, this is a bad thing that happened to me. Why is this happening to me? Blaming. But the believer will step back and say, huh, this is a warning from my, from my Lord. Something bad happens to him and it is good. Because warning means he still cares about me. It's not disaster yet. Warning is to watch out. 
If I don't listen to the warning, then I'm going to be in complete disaster. If the warning doesn't come, I will be in disaster. That time there's complete punishment. Something good that happens to you, that is also a test. That is also for you to step back and say, Allah has given, should I, should I not give more shukr? How do I give shukr? How do I give more shukr? I share. Prophet is saying, share. Share. Even if it is one smile, share. These days I'm seeing murids are not even smiling. We become so selfish. And you find yourself in more and more and more and more tight situation because you're not even sharing the smiles. You understand? And the Prophet is saying to have good spirits, you know, to have positive spirits, it is a sign of faith. See how important it is? Leave memorizing Quran, leave Fardu Ain, leave all of these things. Now we're talking about the foundations of faith. Because in the Ahil Zaman, if you, so many people, they're building skyscrapers with Islamic knowledge, but there is no foundation. No foundation. And now, like it is in the first Jahiliya, it is to look at the foundation and to put it really, really strong. Once the foundation is strong, anything can be built on it. Mm. So, Move away from, this is a punishment, a test is a punishment. A test is not a punishment. A test is to see where you are. And if you're studied, and if you are knowing what to do, that test is going to show you that you're in a higher uh, position. And in reality, every test is pushing you to a higher station. The test is there to push you to a higher station, isn't it? In school, you go for a test, because you're going to the next level, and the next level, and the next level. So, don't look at it and say, okay, I'm suffering now, then later I'm going to get um, a reward for it. No. The reward given or not given is, can you dictate to Allah? Can you tell Allah, now you test me, now I have to have this? And that, in the way of tariqat, is hidden shirk. You are saying, well, Allah has to do this. You are telling him what to do. If something happens to you, you have to check. Now, if a believer now he's going to hold, maybe if the test didn't come to you, you're not going to check. Because you don't check, there are so many uh, parts of your whole body, your whole machine that is broken, but you didn't check. But you're pushing it and pushing it, it's still functioning, but you don't know that it is broken. Now, a test, it says stop, now you check everything. So maybe the test is from one thing, but from that one thing, the believer is going to check everything and he's going to find more things that he can fix. The whole point is he can fix. And then he can move forward better. Even if it is something that is a punishment, you did something wrong, it is a punishment. Can any one of us, any one of us really, say that Allah, because we did something wrong in our lives, and we've done so many wrong in our lives, that Allah has punished us because of the crime that we did? Can we say? We're not punished. You forgive us over and over again. So we're not living under punishment, although we've done so many things that deserves us to be punished. So now where are we going to put that gratitude? Some people, shaitan trick them and say, oh, you see, now be sad because... Uh, you are still ungrateful and you're not punished, so it must be sad and must be depressed. This is shaitan also. You're not happy with the ruling of your Lord and you are stuck and you're not running to do something. No, you have to run to do something. So, mm, 
And the believer, when a test comes, first he says, I have done something wrong. And this is a punishment for it. But in reality, the punishment is very small compared to the big crime that I've done to my Lord and to other people. So I will say, Alhamdulillah, Astaghfirullah. And this test is coming to make me, to make zikr more, to say, Alhamdulillah, Astaghfirullah, it is a good thing. Go to sajda, ask, cry, ask for forgiveness. That in itself is a blessing, that is a reward already. He looks to see first, I must have done something wrong. So it is still a warning. It's still a blessing. He's still fixing himself. He's not going to say, why? Why this happened to me? I didn't do anything. That is rebellion. That is rebelliousness coming from shaitan. And Allah is watching. His angels are watching. And if you have more gratitude, Allah will give you more. That time you do something wrong, something happens to you, and you say, okay, this is a pun- let it be a punishment, and shukur alhamdulillah. It could have been worse. Allah could have punished me worse than this, but He's giving me small like this. I mustn't be weak to say, why is this happening? I've done so many things. He should be giving me more, but He didn't. Alhamdulillah, now I'm going to do a check of everything. I'm going to check my intentions, my actions, what I did, other people. Now he's using this as a blessing. The believer uses this as a blessing then. The unbeliever, the hypocrite, is a disaster. Disaster. But don't you see, as the Holy Prophet said, our Shaykh reminding us all the time, the sign that Allah does not love his servant is not even going to give him a toothache. Nothing that is going to remind him. Yeah, some people, they make joke. They say, oh, Allah must love me so much. Must remember me so much. He's not forgetting me because my whole life is difficult. But that's being silly also. Because your life is not a punishment. If you're a believer, you're running to please Allah and His Prophet, والسلام, why Allah is going to punish you? So if it's not a punishment, it's a test. If it's not a test, It is a blessing, but there is something that is hidden there. The believer must try to find out what it is. This is important, because what you're trying to do here is what the work of Judgment Day is. Judgment Day will be very fast for those who already say, La ilaha illa anta subhana in kuntu mina zalimin. And they admit, they don't fight, they submit. That is Judgment Day. You're reading your book and you say this happened because of this, this is like this, this is like this, this is like this. You're checking yourself. Judgment Day is going to be a disaster for most people because they say, I don't deserve this. All these things happening, why it's happening? I didn't do anything. Or even if they say, yeah, 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 I'm the worst one like this, like this, when They're not accepting it when someone tells them something. They're not accepting it when they're doing something wrong and someone is pointing out. They're not accepting it. So, take more time to do this. This is meditation. And this meditation, tafakkur, It is better than 70 years of worship. So, find the mercy of Allah. The mercy of Allah is always there. Assalamu alaikum.